Shut up. Uh, anyways. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick little video review for you. Um, Well, not really review. It's kind of a step-by-step -step process. All right. Everybody's um asking me, um, basically, how would I um get custom firmware on my PSP? I've had like 26 people ask me this in the past five days. And I say you need a magic memory stick and a Pandora battery. Well... Hold tight, I'm gonna show you how to make a Pandora battery. We're gonna use a PSP 1000 battery, fairly simple. Um, we're gonna need to cut open the battery, so we're gonna need something to cut with. We're gonna need tape, and we're going to need some precision. So, uh, sit tight, and I'll get the materials real quick. All right, so obviously the first thing we're gonna need is a regular Sony battery. As you can see, that says Sony on it, plain as day, 3.6 volt. 1800 megahertz battery pack PSP Sony you are going to need this make sure that it has this label on the back along with the blue symbol so you know it's not a fake Sony battery or else it will not work you're gonna need some tape and you're gonna need a razor blade which I don't have one thank God I already cut this battery open a while ago so I'm just gonna use this knife here to show you how it's done um, with precision here. Now, you're probably gonna want an X-Acto knife actually because one, they're sharper, and two, it'll be easier once you get inside this battery. So, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So here we go. All right, so here we go. Here's the battery, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your razor blade. Yeah, I know this isn't a razor blade, but just to demonstrate or an X-Acto knife and you're gonna take it and you're gonna find the crease inside the battery on the side here and you're simply just gonna cut ever so lightly with the X-Acto knife really slow and just keep cutting until you feel it kinda go through you'll start to feel a little bit of resistance then move on to the bottom and do the same thing on the bottom the center be careful around the center because it has an arch and you'll be able to go in easier there so be careful around the setter. Basically try and focus on the corners of the battery. And don't go in too far. You only want to go in about as big as the slant on where the angle stops on the blade. Don't go in any farther than that. So now also on the receptor part, be careful here. What you're going to want to do is take out this top corner first, right, and pop that up. And then what you're going to want to do is take this corner out down here. Take out that corner, oh my god, take out the corner on this right side here, like so, and you, again be very careful, and then finally use your pointed side of the blade to open it up a little bit and come over to where the receptor starts, and just kind of wiggle the knife there and it will pop open. So once you pop it open, you're going to open up the battery, and this top part should come right off. And you're going to be looking at this. Now this is where it gets tricky. This is the motherboard of the battery. Now, I'm going to point a few things out. Let's get close here. And we kind of need some light. So, I'm going to take this blue light here because it will reflect easier. And shine it on the battery. Now, that little black box, not the big one, but the small one, that's the one we're going to be focusing on. On the right side of this little box right here, where the light is being pinpointed, there's four little prongs on each side. Now, where my blade is, right, right about here, there's a prong. That bottom prong on this little tiny box you're going to want to take it out. Now, I'm not going to do that because I can just make a Pandora battery easy. But, <clears throat> little ass prong. Little tiny prong. Little tiny prong. Way in there. So, you're going to look at the box right here where I have my thumb. And I know my camera's kind of bad. But I don't have any way to focus it right now. And you can kind of see the prongs, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. 
the fourth prong on the bottom, you're just going to take a blade or something, something very, very small, and just pick it out. Once that has been accomplished, take the cover and place it back on the battery. Now, be sure when you're cutting the battery open to be very, very, very careful and not puncture the unit of the battery. What I mean by the unit of the battery is this silver part right here. That is the metalloids that cause the battery to have its power. Any oxygen that gets in there, and we all know that air is not 100% air. If it was, then we'd be dead. And um, other than that, um, there's moisture in the air. And moisture will get inside the battery and actually cause it to expand. So be careful that you don't cut the inside of the battery. So once you have this back together, after removing the fourth prong on the right side, on the bottom right-hand corner of the small unit box that reads... Um, do, 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 do. It's, uh, it should be TE77 and then a serial number, but it'll be TE77 all the time. So, other than that, there you go. After you remove the lower right hand prong on the small box T877, you're ready to tape the battery up. So take some scotch tape, right? And you're gonna take a fairly nice piece, I guess you could say, probably about your index finger's length. So there's the tape. And you're going to simply just put it over the battery like so. And do it really, really tight. Oh, that wasn't enough of tape. You don't want to use too much tape or else you won't be able to close the battery chamber. So I'm just going to use a little bit here and there. And uh, again, you want to do this as tight as possible to keep the battery in one form. So there you have it. You have your taped up Pandora battery and it's ready to go. So after that, you're just going to simply plop this inside the PSP, whether it be a 1000 or 2000 because Sony's great and allowed the PSP 1000 battery to fit in the 2000, you just can't put the cover back on. But other than that, you shall take this battery and you will go into recovery mode once you have the magic memory stick and whether it be programmed for whatever firmware you have for the magic memory stick to install and other than that that's about it so there you go there's your pandora battery so that's how you make a pandora battery it's fairly simple you just have to be really careful with it i caught myself before and i didn't stop bleeding for three hours so let that be a warning use precision and um yeah but cut the battery open t877 box on the right hand side lower right of the battery Take out the lower right hand prong, the final one on the bottom, pluck it out, be very careful not to scratch the motherboard, and then put the battery back together and tape it with one layer of scotch tape so it fits inside the battery chamber of the PlayStation Portable. And then once that is done, you put the, after putting this in, it'll go into service mode and activate the magic memory stick, and you can now install custom firmware. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And... Um, other than that, take it easy, guys. I'll talk to you later. Subscribe to my channel to keep up to date. And also, if you have any recommendations or questions or anything, just send me a comment, and I'll be happy to reply. Take it easy.